Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is the law of love. Beloved family, our text says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you that you love one another. John 15, 12 to 17. God is sovereign and his word is law. He gave us commandments to follow and many nations on earth govern themselves according to his law. You remember some of them. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not worship idols. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not murder. Honor your father and mother. You shall not covet. But Christ Jesus summed up all of these laws under the law of love. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Mark 12, 28 to 31. So our Lord says, love God first, and then love your neighbor as yourself. If only the world truly operated under the law of love, there would be no starvation because everyone who loved to feed themselves would love to feed others. They would have compassion on the crowd as Jesus did and fed the 5,000. People would owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loves another has fulfilled the law. Romans 13.8 and then Paul confirms what we are talking about this morning when he says, Because of this attitude of love, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, all are briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Romans 13, 9. Because of love, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to pay the penalty of our sin. The wages of sin is death, and since Christ Jesus committed no sin, he became the perfect sacrifice that took our judgment of death. But because of this sacrificial love, Christ Jesus conquered death. And so now, when God looks upon us, he sees the holiness and righteousness of his son. King Jesus did all the work of redemption. So when he got done, he shouted, It is finished. But the world and religion tries to convince us of the work we have to do for our salvation or the work of God. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, 
to believe in the one he has sent. John 6, 27 to 29. Then the work that you and I must do is have faith and believe in the work that Christ already did. But family, we cannot take this work lightly. The work of Christ was a result of love. He was sent from God because of love, and he died for you and me because of that same love. Let's pause for a moment and receive the weight of this truth. King Jesus tells us there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends, since I have told you everything the Father told me. But if you want to know why God's overwhelming love for you was demonstrated in Christ, King Jesus says, You didn't choose me, I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for in my name. So the choice is clear, family. You trying to figure out, should I choose salvation and believe Jesus Christ or not? When the truth is, salvation already chose you. You just have to accept this gift from God because no one will love you like a God does. There is no greater love than the love of God through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Much love.